Now, because I believe the best way for you to learn about anything is to see it in action, I want to just quickly jump into a real working demonstration of VMware Virtual SAN. So with that, let's jump over into my lab environment at the Wirebrain Coffee Company, where you can see I've already deployed VMware Virtual SAN across three hosts, just like you see in this diagram, and I'm utilizing an SSD and a hard disk from each host to pool the storage and create a vSAN share data store to store my virtual machines on. Let's check it out. Here we are in the VMware vSphere web client. I'm running VMware vSphere 5.5 with update 1 already applied. I've got four ESXi hosts in this lab environment, and three of those hosts have been put into a cluster. That cluster has been made a vSAN cluster, and how I can tell is, if I go up here to the cluster level, I can see right here this box that says virtual SAN. I can maximize that, and you can see in this cluster, I've got indeed three hosts. I've got three of three eligible SSDs in use, three of three traditional spinning disks in use, a total capacity for the vSAN data store, free capacity, and network status. If I go into one of the hosts, for example, this host ESXi9, and then into Manage, from here we can dig a little bit deeper and go into the disk management for the vSAN cluster. And here, if I click on each one of the hosts that's contributing storage to the vSAN cluster, I've got a disk group. So in each disk group, I've got an SSD, and a local disk, an SSD and a local disk, and an SSD and a local disk. So it's these disks that are locally in each of these hosts that are being pooled together to create this vSAN shared data store. Now if I go up here to the vSphere storage inventory, I can actually go into the vSAN data store, and here we can see information about the data store total storage and free storage, number of host contributing storage, and number of virtual machines that are stored in the data store. Currently that's zero, but it's very easy to perform a storage vMotion and move running virtual machines, virtual disk files from your traditional SAN or from local disk on a host into the vSAN data store. As you'll see in later modules, actually configuring the vSAN data store is very simple. Once you've met the requirements, it can be as easy as a single checkbox. But as I said, we'll get to that later. Now that you've seen firsthand what it's like to manage VMware vSAN running on top of your VMware vSphere infrastructure, let's go back to our slides where I'll explain in more detail what VMware vSAN is and how it can help you.